So what does need to change then? I think that the system has to be completely changed. Steve Cram said it the other day, and that is, you know, you're trying to fix something without breaking anything. You got to break the whole thing. It's broken. You got to start over from scratch. You can't just make a little adjustment here and a little adjustment there. It's gone for far too long. You have to look at that system and say, okay, this has not worked. We've made adjustments. Those adjustments haven't worked. We have to start over completely from scratch. It has to, uh, drastic measures are, are, are needed at this point. What does work though? Are you saying maybe they should go and train in America where the system, you know, they have brought them through? I think, I think the environment doesn't work. I, I, you know, I hate as an American to sit here and say that the American system is where they should be. Look at the Jamaicans. Half of them train in the U.S., but half of them don't, and they've been successful. So I'm not going to, you know, I don't want to be the America's the greatest place to train, but I think that the system in Great Britain, and I've seen it for years as an athlete competing there and competing against British athletes, we were often envious of the support that you get in Britain, but at the same time, that support can hurt you at some point because these athletes, a lot of times, they have the celebrity status, they have the sponsorship, they have all of the things that we work so hard for in America to get on top of the medals. Obviously, you want the medals, but I mean, I would be lying if I sat here and said I didn't want to hear someone cheer for me every now and then, and I didn't want to be, you know, getting a little special treatment every now and then, which is, a, a, you know, a byproduct of being a, a great athlete. And these athletes have it before they've done anything at all. I mean, you take those guys down there, as much as they've accomplished in the 4 by 100 meter relay, nobody gets into this sport to be a relay gold medalist. All of those guys as young kids coming up, they wanted to be the champion. And somewhere along the line, that was lost. And now they're satisfied with being a relay gold medalist. So the standard has dropped and you got to get it back. Linford Christie never wanted to be a relay gold medalist. He didn't have anybody to run with him other than John. But, you know, those guys were not satisfied even when they did with, run well. John Regis and Linford Christie, I ran against them. Those guys wouldn't be satisfied with a relay medal. So you're saying they've got to rediscover the hunger that may, they've They've lost the hunger of wanting they've, to win. They've lost the hunger, and what will happen is, and it's the system that causes them to lose the hunger. And so it's the system, not but necessarily You keep saying the, the system. What, what is wrong with the system? Is, well, it, the is system, it the standard the of the coaching? The system rewards mediocrity. The right. system rewards Great Britain's best and not world best. And, we, and, and what happens is, is the system takes potential, and that potential athlete is put out there as the next great. I mean, I don't even want to name the names because I don't want to jinx it, but we've already in the last couple of years right here profiled athletes who are potential medalists because of what they did at a junior level, and they've done absolutely nothing yet. Mm. In, our, in our country, we wouldn't do that. I mean, because, and it's not because we're so smart, it's because we don't care about track and field in America, and that helps us in a lot of ways. You know, so it... it I think that you have to try to change that environment to some degree.